Hello everybody! I hope you guys are all having a great time today. Happy 4th of July, happy Independence Day. So for today I'm going to start with an oracle reading for United States and I'm gonna use this, the Native American Oracle cards. All right, so let's ask for a message for the collective of the United States. Give us something that we need to hear. A message of the universe for the American people. See, we have car number 28, the feather, the feather, this has to do with the air element, okay, so let's see, it's a uh, communication, so um, feathers are an important part of Native American rituals. Feathers are tied to poles, which are placed in fields or mountain peaks, and create a rustling noise, the voice of the gods. They represent prayer, both the active speaking aspect as well as the passive listening aspect. Feathers are also signs of respect and honor and are considered gifts from spirit. Receiving one, whether from your people, as a sign of achievement or as a gift, found along your path, brings with it responsibility. Feathers are to be treated as any other sacred symbol. The message for this card is that every stone, every plant, animal, or situation you meet has a message for you. So listen. So with this card, there's an emphasis put on communication and the ability to listen. And I'm seeing this as a message for the American people in general, both sides, uh, to actually listen to each other, to not shut down completely, to be able to have that openness to at least try to understand from a different perspective. And that doesn't mean that one has to change his mind or uh, think differently. Just, you know, just listen. Just, you know, have, have that openness. You don't have to change your mind. You don't have to believe them. You don't have to agree yeah so this is how i'm seeing this card now let's use this oracle deck the white eagle medicine wheel with the same question a message from the universe for the american people something that they may need to hear something that would benefit Stargazer. Create mystery for the human race, all within the vastness of space, reaching out towards an unseen place, everlasting stars, reassurance will stay. This traditional necklace is made of coral, turquoise, and hishi robes of finely cut shell discs. Turquoise represents Father Sky or the male spirit. The necklace is considered to be strongly protective. Coral symbolizes the blood of Mother Earth and is considered to be nourishing for the blood and good for the circulation. This heavy necklace would be worn by both men and women 
with much of the jewelry for ceremonial occasions, especially the feast day dancing. Grandmother Stargazer greets you warmly. Ah, hey, today you come to see me as a student. I am Grandmother Stargazer. I wear dark clothes like the night. I do not teach you how to weave or make jewelry, no. But I bring you magic. The magic of looking into the starry heavens, the depths of the universe. Come into my home and we will sit together. This village has been here for hundreds of years. All the houses are close together and are made of adobe. At the center is a wide plaza where we hold our public ceremonies. I offer you some food, the gifts of Mother Earth to us Zuni people of Arizona, squash and corn. Now you must meet my family. Most of them make turquoise jewelry. We call it needlepoint, as to it is so fine inlaid with coral, mother of pearl and obsidian. My people call me stargazer because I have the gift of universal and cosmic perspective. As I look at the stars, they speak to me. They also tell me when disturbances on Mother Earth are coming and other future events. Many of our native people say that human beings come from the star nations and are made of star stuff, and that our beginnings are out there somewhere. We believe in many other forms of life in many other universes. This is what gives us our vision of space and time and of our place in the universe. It is dark now. Together we will watch the star people awaken. The teaching you seek is learning to step away in order to see the wider picture in the way you gain perspective and purpose in your life. Be careful not to become egocentric. Be aware of the beauty that is created when you are in harmony with the wider pattern. Learn to regard the mystery and wonder of creation with reverence. If you have questions about your life, be still, focus on one star, and wait for the answer to arise in your heart. This is about not having a narrow focus on life um, and to not lose the perspective to see try to see the bigger picture with everything yeah so these are the messages for this reading for the 4th of July so again happy Independence Day hope you guys have a beautiful day and I will see you guys soon I'll be back with your requests